What is going on guys? I am doing a review on something other than firearms, which I've normally done on here. Um, I am doing a review on ceramic uh, window tint on my vehicle. And I had just purchased a 2021 Hyundai Sonata at the beginning of the year. And it came tinted from the dealership. I don't know what they had on there. It was probably like 30% or 25%. I like, personally, I like 5%. And yeah, I understand 5% is not legal in most states and everything. And um, you're, just, you're kind of taking a gamble there if, uh, if you're running 5% all the way around your vehicle. So anyway, I went to uh, um, a tent shop that I found online, had great reviews. <clears throat> and I wanted to replace my tent with 5%. And he started going through the different levels of tent and prices. And um, one of them was like ridiculously expensive. It was 500 bucks to um, tent the vehicle. This is before the price of removing the old tent. So I'm like, why is it so expensive? And he was like, because it's ceramic tin. It blocks 98% or 93% of IR light, which is infrared. So anyway, um, I had never heard of this stuff, so I went home and did my homework, read a bunch of reviews, watched a bunch of YouTube videos, and there's a ton of videos on YouTube of ceramic tint, and <clears throat> you don't really see a thorough review of the ceramic tint on YouTube. What you see is uh, a vehicle with or without tint, and they're using a digital thermometer, and they're shooting the inside of the dash, or the seat, or, or just something on inside, inside of the vehicle so they're doing it before and after so um then they're doing the ceramic tint um they're they're using electronic uh our digital thermometer after the ceramic tint's installed and it's a dramatic difference but i wanted to see a review of someone that's actually <clears throat> been out driving in the sun all day does this stuff work is this stuff worth 500 dollars? so I'm here to tell you it is absolutely worth the money. Now, if you live in a in a state where it doesn't get hot throughout the year, probably uh, might not be a, the best investment for you. I live in Oklahoma City and it gets pretty hot here. There's no mountains to block the view of the sun. Um, so it's pretty much sun up to sundown. Your The sun is in your face at some point or throughout the entire day and it gets really humid here and everything so anyway um i had my vehicle redone um all inside so that's looking out that's five percent another thing i did is i tinted my front windshield um as you can see i have the the five percent strip but everything else right here that is um <clears throat> that is 55 percent and it is extremely transparent. So, um, I have to say, guys, if if you do if you drive a lot and you live in a in a state or in an area that you're just constantly always in the sun, and so I'm heavily tattooed up, right? I'm sleeved up. I'm about seventy percent covered in tattoos. But my point is, is my hand is usually up on the steering wheel, and I'm driving into the direction of the sun, and my hand is burning up. <clears throat> And I try to minimize uh, sun exposure as much as possible on my tattoos. So, man, it... So, as you guys can see, the, the sun is... I'm kind of at an angle where the sun's kind of coming into my vehicle. I don't feel a thing. I do not feel this, uh, the direct sunlight at all hitting me. At all. So, ceramic tint. Legit stuff. It's the real deal. Um, oh, so... It was, it was actually pretty expensive to tint the front windshield. And uh, I'm gonna tell you the companies that, the, the brands that they use. So the front windshield was done with Expel. Um, they had a 55 or a 70%, but I kind of wanted a little bit more privacy, so I had them do the 55%. And the rest of the vehicle they did with a company called Autobahn. And their warranty, they, I mean, it's like all done online, so. Um, they're taking your VIN number, your license plate number, your make a model of the vehicle. I mean, everything is taken down uh, for a warranty for for their tent. So, 
um, both Audubon and Expel, <clears throat> and you get actually emails from both companies saying, you know, hey, appreciate you purchasing our product. If there's any any problems whatsoever, return to the the dealer that installed your tin, and we will gladly have them redo it for free at no charge to you as the customer. So, um, nighttime driving. Um, I have five percent on all my vehicles anyway, so I'm used to the darkness. But the 55%, so where I live in Oklahoma City, there's not many street lights, so you're basically relying on like residential uh, lighting, you know, from the houses and stuff, or maybe the small businesses that are around. So it does get pretty dark. So um, <clears throat> the 55%, it's absolutely noticeable. Um, it's noticeably darker. So what, what that means is, is there it, the tent is only allowing 55% of, of light into the vehicle. So same thing with like 5%. The tin is only allowing 5% of light into the vehicle. So with newer vehicles, a lot of vehicles come with LED headlights. So I have very super bright headlights, which is a plus for me. <clears throat> like I have an 87 Ram 1500 um, that's been fully restored. Um, the only thing I didn't do was upgrade the headlights. So I still have those like nasty old yellow, big glass um, headlights, the halogen ones. Um, I probably wouldn't tint the front windshield with that. Um, just because the, the headlights aren't, aren't the greatest, but <clears throat> you're taking a risk when you, when you're, when you start running tint on different things. So if you're not used to running dark tint, um, it, it may not be, it might, might not be suitable for you. But anyway, the, the point of this video was ceramic tint. It's legit guys. Do your homework on it. <clears throat> Make sure it's a reputable shop, reputable shop that's actually putting ceramic tin on your vehicle. So um, the Autobahn is a ceramic I3, and the uh, Expel is their is their plus, is their higher end one. I believe there's three stages. So, um, but yeah, you guys have any questions or anything? Uh, let me know. Uh, I answer them as best as I can. I'm not a pro at this stuff. All I can do is speak to the product. Um, it does its job. It's not letting heat in the vehicle. Um, I, I do not feel any heat whatsoever. So you can see the sunlight hitting my hand. I do not feel that at all. None whatsoever. I feel no direct sunlight on my hand. So anyway, guys, um, let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to cut this short, guys. Take care.